Hi, it's Warren Eagles. I'm a freelance colorist working in Australia, working in all forms of uh, the industry, movies, commercials, com um, music videos. I'm also co-founder of the ICA. We run colorist training on all sorts of systems uh, and also do generic colorist training. Uh, so today, what I want to show you is DaVinci Resolve is obviously available now as a light version. But how do we get started? How do we uh, go from getting the software just to get some images in and just start to play with the color corrector? If you go to blackmagicdesign.com, there's a picture here of the Resolve, it says it's free. Click on it. This is not only where you get your software, but also you get some other really useful stuff. So here's the software, Dimitri Resolve Lite for Mac, download there. Your configuration guide for Mac OS S10. This is also very important to tell you what machines it will run on, which ones it won't, and what card and graphics card configurations you need to be able to run Resolve. Okay, the manual speaks for itself. Lots of step-by-step -step things in there are what each key and function does on the machine. The support notes will also give you things like uh, keystrokes of the Resolve, uh, control surface, the Wave, the JL Cooper and the Avid Artist, plus what codecs are supported and where this is where the keyboard shortcuts are. Also very important is to get some good material that you can work with. Now I work with some of this material in some of my other tutorials. So download the uh, Ari Alexa demo video clips and we can use those. Having downloaded your software and launched it, you'll be faced with something like this. Ignore was, that's because I've already been logged in and using mine. Uh, if you click on guest, it will put you straight into a user default config and a default project. Now you don't even have to change anything here just to get started and have a play. Obviously later you want to make your own user, you can start to customize all this. But one thing you will have to do is to go to DaVinci Resolve Preferences. So at the top there and in here you select where your media is coming from. So in my case, on this 17 laptop, my media is stored in Warren, Documents, Resolve, and Media. So I'm just going to show you how to hook up a new one because I have a USB drive here where I've selected that BMD footage. And we're going to work with that. So click on the plus, and it will put you in here. And as my portable drive was 500, and in Media, ICA Media, or Material, I'm going to put, use that as my source. So every time I go to Resolve, it means I will be able to access ICA material. If I just go on there, choose like that, I can now see Resolve Media, which is the hard drive on my laptop. And this is now an external USB drive, 500 gig drive, and that's the same folder I just selected with material. Now, here is also where I could select my control surface and also what card I'm using for capture and playback. I'm going to click save there, like so. Now what we're going to do, we're going to quit that. Those things will be saved. Come back out here, relaunch, and then instead of seeing one option for media, I will see two. Read through the manual, some very useful things in there, as step by step and what each function will do. So now we are in default config here and a default project there. The next tab along is browse. Go to there and now you can see when I want to browse any media, and this is my media storage, I do have on my laptop storage, but the one I just added was 500, I can then find the BMD material that I downloaded from the website. Now the shot I want to start working with is a main street here. So you can just then select it, should be able to view it here in this browser, scroll it there. Let's add all of these shots. So to do that I go to the folder level here on the left and I control or right click Add folder into media pool. It has to be in the media pool your shots for you to grade with them. This is just a browser, so I can browse any of my material here. Once it's in here, 
I can then work with it. Go to conform. You will see nothing. There's always nothing in there. You have to hit new. This plus over there, say OK. And that creates you a time a timeline based on time code order down here. This is your master timeline and your master session. You always need this. Then go a tab along to your color page and you can choose to work on any one of these shots just by clicking on it. Click on your shot, open up your three-way color corrector here, and then if you click in the middle there and move towards red, your picture will go red. So that should get you started with Resolve Light. Have fun and play away. Always say play, you can't break it. If you want more information, on uh, the things we do at the ICA, then you should go to, this is our page here, this is our ICA page, we're preparing for IBC, so some of our colorists will be up there. This is the up and coming classes. Obviously, if you go into here, you go to a blog, so that'll be stories about me working plenty of years ago on lots of things that were different. Uh, here's my story here on grading Michael Jackson. So, there's lots of other information, it's just not technical information, there's some stories and things about um, what it's like being a colorist and how you can get into color correction. Alternatively, if you're not interested or you're a long way away from taking any classes, have a look at the uh, PhD which is 10 30 minute lessons and this will get you started. There's a movie here which will show you what these classes are about and this is the ICA partnering with FX PhD to produce this. Uh, Enjoy this, and I'll catch you next time with another tip at the ICA. Bye.